Well, good morning. It is uh, Monday, December 27th, so hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. I know I enjoyed the day off and half a day on Christmas Eve, so hopefully you guys got to spend time with your family and friends and, you know, just enjoying the Christmas season, so, uh, and I hope you all got what you wanted for Christmas, so. Um, right now, I am sitting at Walmart. And it's about 8.44 in the morning, and I picked up an order on uh, the Walmart Spark app. So uh, it was for $43.11, and it was only going like 1.2 miles. I had to drive about 20 minutes to get over to the store, but, um, you know, for $43 bucks and 1.2 miles, yeah, I'll go that far. <laughs> so... Um, I am just kind of sitting and waiting. One of the orders had like 29 items, and then the other order had uh, 52, I think, if I remember correctly. So um, the first orders do at like 8:48, so I'm probably going to be late because they're not even loading it up right now, and it's 8:44. So um, I mean, it is what it is. It's like nobody was taking these orders because it was like $10 higher than. Uh, what the original offer was. So it's been sitting out there for a while. So anyway, I will let you know as soon as I get it on board and how far away I am from the first drop off. Okay, everything's on board. Um, it is 8.59, so it took them a while to get it out here, almost 20 minutes. So uh, I'm headed to the first drop off and it's about uh, three minutes away, less than a mile. So, so let's go get it off. Okay, it's 9.16, I just got that first one delivered. It was the big one, 52 items, second floor. I had to make about six trips, there were so many groceries. So, so it was pretty heavy too, but uh, it's done. I'm on my way to the next one, which is about three minutes away, about half a mile. <sighs> okay, so let's go get it done. All right, that second order is completed. So um, it was on a first floor, quite a few less items. So I only had to make a couple trips to the door. So um, not too bad at all compared to the first one especially. So I now have another Spark order. I'm heading there right now. And it is one of the, well, actually it was a round robin offer, which means um, they only offer it to you, or to me, I guess, compared to like the first come first serve orders, which um, are out there for anybody to just pick. So um, they give you about a minute to decide to take it or not. So um, I took this one, it was for $30 and some change. Uh, it's going like 17.4 miles and it's one of the in-store pickups. So it has like 10 orders. So it's like a little route that I have to do. Um, so I am about probably two minutes from the Walmart that I need to pick up from. So let's go get it on board. I'm here for an in-store pickup. All right, I have all 10 orders on board. We're headed to the first one at 6.2 miles, and it's gonna take me about 13 minutes to get there, so let's get going. Okay, let's see how long this actually takes me. It's um, 9.48 was when I left the store. We'll see what time it is when, um, when I'm all done. First one's off, delivery number two is five minutes away, 1.7 miles, so let's go do it. Okay, I dropped off the second one. It was a little weird because it had an apartment B on there and it was a house, so I just left it at the front door. You know, if there's a basement apartment or something, I'm hoping that they'll get it to them. So I didn't know what else to do with it. Um, so now on to number three, which is about uh, three minutes away. And I think it was like half from, no, it was a mile. So let's go get it off. All right, off to delivery number four and 
I'm about three minutes from the drop off and it's about a mile. So I should have it off pretty quick. That one was easy. Um, now we're on drop off number five. Um, it's about three minutes and 1.5 miles. Oh, one thing I wanted to say is this next order is due at 1054 and it is like 1030 right now. So I'm running um, ahead of time actually. So there shouldn't be any issues with being late on any of them. So let's go get this off. All right, got number five done. It said not to ring the doorbell, but I did knock and then a yappy little dog started barking. So I'm thinking I probably should have knocked either, but um, off to number six and it is like a mile and uh, maybe three minutes. So let's get moving. Number seven is uh, one mile away and it's going to take about four minutes, so let's get moving. Uh, 1.4 miles and uh, four minutes, so let's go. on to number nine it's two miles away and five minutes so let's go do it all right ready for number 10 um, it is 1.3 miles away it should take about five minutes it's due at 1120 and it's just now 1102 so we'll have these done on time without any issues. So I already turned on DoorDash. Um, my shift started at 11, so uh, haven't gotten anything on there yet. So let's go get this last one done. about an hour and 20 minutes something like that so uh, for 30 bucks that's not too bad I now have an order on uber eats I didn't get a screenshot of the offer uh, but it was for $13.40 going 3.1 miles it's a shop and pay so I haven't done one since they updated the app on those so I thought I'd try one. It's only one item, so it'd be a good one to try it out on. So um, I am probably about, I don't know, four or five minutes from the pickup. So uh, let's go grab it. All right, so uh, got to Walgreens, went in. The only item they were looking for was a COVID-19 test. So those are really hard to come by these days. So there were signs everywhere that said, no COVID-19 tests available. So um, the app, by the way, has improved immensely. So, I mean, it was a little confusing to me because there was only one item to shop for and then there wasn't an item. So I had to kind of figure out how to work it. So I ended up having to take a picture which is meant for uh, substituting other items but I just took a picture of the sign that said no COVID tests so um, and sent it and then uh, I ended up having to just cancel the order you know so 
I don't even know if I'm gonna get paid anything for going. I mean, I should. I don't think I'm gonna get anything for it, so that's all right. I'd rather not get anything for it than sit on the freaking phone for 30 minutes with customer service, so. Um, so anyway, I have another order. Um, it's on Grubhub, and I think it was for like $6.90. Um, going 2.5 miles, if I remember correctly. So it's picking up at Sang Sang Asian Express, and I'm just sitting here waiting right now. They did just recently confirm the order, so I was just going to give them a little bit of time to get it out. They're usually pretty quick, but uh, I'm going to give them a few minutes before I go in there. Oh, look out for Maddie. Grubhub. All right, thank you. All right, I have that Sang Sang on board. It took them about 10 minutes. Um, I just waited on it because nothing else good came up while I was waiting. So I'm about uh, three minutes from the drop off. And it's about 0.8 miles. So uh, let's go get it off. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, guys, let's see if I can get you caught up here. I um, took an order for Dos Realis, and um, I'll put it up here. It's been a while since I took it, so I don't even remember what the payout was on it. So um, I think it was for like $650, if I remember right. And then I had an add-on, picking up from Panera, which was right next door, uh, for $6. So I get to the uh, Dos Realis, and they are closed for um, repairs. So I couldn't pick up the order there, so I had to you know, show that the store was closed. And then the add-on, of course, is 50 cents less because it's supposed to be going along with the first one that I didn't do. So, it's just frustrating. Very frustrating. So, anyway, I uh, picked up and dropped off the Panera. And I'm on my way to go pick up an order on DoorDash from Chinatown Express. It was about four miles and for $7.25. So let's go grab it. Hope we have better luck this time. <laughs> okay guys, I have a Grubhub order on me for $9.73. And it's going 4.1 miles. Um, and it's picking up from Bangkok Pavilion. Once I get that picked up and dropped off, I already have a spark order to pick up at 12.45. It's like 12.31 right now. And I shouldn't be late because the um, order from Bangkok is just going south and taking me directly, you know, to the Walmart. So um, it shouldn't be an issue. So, but that order, the spark order is uh, for $17 and some change. I'll get, uh, I think $9.97 today. And then there's an $8 tip that I will get tomorrow. So um, I should be set up for a little bit. So let's go get these deliveries. Hi. 
Yeah, yeah for Elise. Huh? Elise. Elise. Elise one. Uh -huh. Elise, right? Uh, E-L. Mike. Oh, I see. Uh, what are you looking at? Oh, over there. A cup. No. I'm no. Oh. Sorry. That's <laughs> all right. I thought you said Belize. Hello. May I help you? All right. I have that uh, order picked up. I don't know if you noticed in the video that uh, she almost gave me the wrong orders. <laughs> I'm glad we caught it before I got there. So um, it wasn't a very long wait. A couple of minutes is all. So uh, I am about two minutes maybe three from the drop-off for that Bangkok um, so let's go get it off thank you have a good day okay I got that uh, uh, Bangkok pavilion off uh, I had a little bit of trouble finding it, it but not too bad um, it was just kind of hidden a little bit so. I am on my way to the Walmart to pick up the spark order and um, I'm, it, I'm about six minutes away from it I'm gonna be a little bit late but not too bad maybe about nine minutes so um, let's go get it picked up all right I have both of those orders on board uh, they both have 17 items uh, it is about five minutes to the first drop off, so about a mile. So let's go get it off. All right, so the second drop off is about a mile and a half from the first one, so it should take me about five minutes. So let's go get it off. All right, I got that second one dropped off. Um, it was kind of funny, the lady at the second drop off, she was a little older, and I don't know, she was talking about. Was I going to bring her her other order or something like that? She must have had another order uh, for today. And I said, oh, I don't know. I don't have anything else on me right now. And she goes, well, it's not until 8 o'clock. So I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'll even be in the area to get it. And she goes, well, the tip on that one's a little better. She goes, between this one and that one, you should get $11. So I asked her, well, what's on this one? And she started naming off her grocery list. She goes, oh, a little bit of bologna, a little bit of this and that. <laughs> I just started, I mean, I didn't laugh in her face, but inside I just started laughing. I'm like, I don't need to know your grocery list. <laughs> you know, I just kind of left it at, oh, okay, thank you, have a good day. <laughs> so I just thought it was kind of funny that she started naming off her groceries. So right now, I don't have anything else on me. I'm waiting on my next order, so I might go try and grab a bite to eat just real quick. So um, it's like 1.24 right now. Um, so it's kind of a slow time, right? So I'm hoping to get a few more um, spark orders. That would be nice during this time. Like a few of the shop and deliver orders. I really like those. I like the shop and deliver orders and I like the um, in-store pickups, you know, the one that does the route, because you get all of your money up front that day. You pretty much get all of your money up front. All right, guys, I just picked up an order from uh, Jersey Mike's. Uh, I've got to record going into the restaurant because I had to go to the bathroom so bad. So sorry about that. I had to wait a little bit for it, maybe five to six minutes. So not horrible, um, but I am about two miles from the drop off. Looks like it's gonna take me about six minutes. So it was for $6 and 50 cents. Um, it might go up just a little bit, but if it does, it's not gonna be much. So. Anyway, let's go uh, get it off. So I just dropped off that uh, Jersey Mike's and it did end up being a little bit more. So it's about $7. So up from six dollars and fifty cents so kind of what i expected just a little bit i'm just kind of waiting on my next order i'm just kind of getting trash right now 
three dollar orders, two fifty. So you know, you know how that goes. So I'll let you know when I get another order. Guys, I uh, took an order on DoorDash. It was doing a shop and deliver at Walgreens, so it was for nine dollars and fifty cents. There was eight items on that, and uh, I had trouble finding a couple of them. I tried texting the customer; they didn't answer, or they didn't text back. So I had to call the customer and was able to get replacements. Uh, or substitutions for those items so it worked out good um, I'm only about six minutes from the drop-off right now so uh, let's go get her done so I picked up an order from Walmart for $13.50 and I think it was going a little over four miles. The um, screenshot that I took, once again, picked up miles from where I was coming from. Uh, I was not that far away. So I am uh, about ready to pull into the parking lot right now. I'm gonna be surprised if they aren't maybe a little bit more. I mean, there's not very many items, but for 13, 50 that's what like 675 something like that a piece so um, you know it's at that 650 range so but we'll see since they're not going very far and there's not very many items I think there's like 17 items on each of them or right around there um, so let's just see what we get okay guys I have uh, both of those Walmart orders on board already they were very very fast um, I bet I was even sitting there two minutes. Um, so I'm on my way to the first drop off and it's about five minutes, uh, 1.6 miles. So let's go get it off. All right, I have the uh, first one dropped off. It was 7.25, so it didn't really increase any. I just thought it was 6.75 a piece, but uh, so 7.25 and then this one's gonna be like 6.25. So, but it's still $13 and something, so not too bad for a few minutes of work. So let's go get this one off. It's like less than a half a mile and less than a minute now. So let's go do it. Okay, I just got another order. It's on DoorDash and it's for $7.50 and it's going like four miles and some change. Um, it's only two items. Uh, I'm hoping it might be just a little bit more. It shouldn't take me too long to get over to the store. Looks like six minutes. It's about 1.5 miles away. So let's go get it. Hi there. All right. Okay, I have that Papa John's on board. It didn't take very long. They were pulling it out of the oven uh, as I got there. It's about eight minutes to the drop off and 2.9 miles. So uh, let's go get this off. Okay guys, I got that Papa John's off, no issues at all. It did turn into an $8 order, so uh, up from the $7.50 that was shown. I now have a shop and deliver on Spark. It was for uh, $29.95 and $7 of that was a tip, so I'll get about $22 today, which is great. And it's only going like 2.9 miles, so not terrible there either. So um, I am about a minute and a half from the store so let's go get it picked up okay guys I got that uh, spark order shop for and on board so um, the app was kind of acting up at the very beginning and then finally it straightened itself out I did get it shopped for fairly quickly even with that because I still had like 25 minutes left to time wise to shop for it and it doesn't even have to be there until 5.23. It's only 
35 right now, so not too bad. Um, so let's go get it dropped off. Okay guys, I took an order on DoorDash. It's picking up at Hula Hands uh, for $7.75. And I think it was going a little over four miles if I remember correctly. I am about a minute away from Hula Hands, so it's going to be ready at about 5.06. I won't wait until then to go in, um, but let's go get it on board. Okay. I'm picking up for Alexa. Okay. Alexa. Alexa L. Okay guys, I have that Hula Hands on board. Uh, I didn't have to wait very long for it, maybe just a couple minutes, so not too shabby. Um, I am about 10 minutes away from the drop off and 4.2 miles. So let's go get it off. So I'm sitting at a stoplight and where I'm sitting is actually on a bridge. And <laughs> as I'm sitting here, I can just feel the bridge just shaking. I don't know about you, but that makes me nervous. I mean, at least it's it's only over a highway, but if it was over water, it makes me even more nervous. So, um, I'm off of it now. So, I just didn't know if that bothered anybody else or if anybody else had ever noticed it before. So, I don't expect this um, order to be more. If it is, it's not gonna be much more. I looked at the subtotal on the customer's uh, order and it was only like $19.70 so um, like I said I don't expect it to be any more if you know much more so let's go get it off and find out I got that Hula Hands order off and it did increase from $7.75 to $8.50. So I'll take it. I'm just waiting to get my next order right now, so I will let you know as soon as I get it. It's about 5.24, so it shouldn't be long before I get an order. We're kind of getting into the uh, dinner rush, so um, I'll let you know. Okay guys, I just accepted an order on Uber Eats. It's picking up at Hawaiian Brothers. And I'm already pulling into the parking lot here. I was not far from it at all. It's a fantastic order. It's for $9.11 and it's only going 1.8 miles. So um, I might have to wait just a little bit on it, but probably not too long. They're pretty fast. So um, let's get this picked up. Okay guys, so while I was sitting at um, Hawaiian Brothers, I got an order from Grubhub for $10 and some change. I think it was $10.64 and it was only going like 2.1 miles, somewhere around in there. So uh, it's going the same direction. It's a little further east, but um, it'll fit perfectly with this order. So what I'll do is pick, I've already got the Hawaiian Brothers on board. I'm gonna pick up the Bates City Barbecue and then I'm gonna drop off the Bates City Barbecue and then I'll drop off the Uber Eats. Um, shouldn't take probably more than 15 minutes to do this whole thing depending on how quick Bates City Barbecue is and they're usually pretty fast so. Hi, I'm picking up a Grubhub. I had to remember which one I was on for uh, Steven? Yep, thank you on board. It, I was only in there like two minutes. That was it. So they're pretty fast. Um, it's about five minutes to the uh, Grubhub drop-off, which is the Bait City. So it's only about 1.6 miles. So I should have it off pretty quick here. So let's go get it off.
Mike D. Okay, so I need to get you guys caught up. I picked up an order from McAllister's for uh, $6.50. And uh, then I had an order on uh, Uber Eats from Dos Realis for $12.90, I believe, or 60 cents, something like that. And um, I don't remember how far I was going. Uh, I'll put it up here so you guys can see it. But uh, I went there to pick it up and it wasn't ready. So I just went and dropped off the McAllister's really fast. And then by the time I got back to uh, Dos Realis, my Uber Eats order was ready. I'm on my way to drop off the Uber Eats order right now. I'm only about two minutes from that drop off. Uh, so about one, a little over one mile. Um, and then once I get that dropped off, I have an order on a Grubhub for $19.61 and it's going out west. Um, so I think it was like 17 miles or something like that. But um, I live out west, so uh, I'm going to take that one and possibly call it a night since I've been out since about 8 o'clock this morning and it's 6.46 now. So um, that will take me home and well, that will take me closer to home, uh, not quite to home, but, um, and it will definitely put me over my target for the day. So, uh, let's go get this one off. Zarda's barbecue for the Grubhub. They're usually pretty quick also, so let's go grab it. Okay guys, I am on my way to drop off that Zarda's. Um, I had to wait a little bit on it, probably about 10 minutes, but not too bad. They were pretty busy. So it's about 11 miles to the drop off and it's going to take me about 12 minutes just because it's practically all uh, freeway. Uh, so, you know, I'll be doing 70, 75 mile an hour or so. I should have it done pretty quick and um, I'll let you know what's going on from there. I think I may call it a night, but if I get something else, I'll let you know. Okay guys, I got that last order dropped off and I was about 13 minutes from home. I left everything turned on until I got kind of past the uh, restaurant section along the highway there and um, didn't get anything so I just came on home. It's about 7.39. I was um, out early this morning. Uh, I think it was like 8 o'clock when I came out. So, so I am done. I'm tired. Um, I did hit my goal for the day, so that's always good. Um, today was kind of uneventful, nothing too exciting. I'm glad not every day is very exciting because um, sometimes that can stress you out. So if uh, you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, it really helps me out if you do that. So, I, and it's greatly appreciated at the same time. So with that, I'll say good night, have a great evening, and we'll see you in the next video.